I, I found his uh, statement very compelling. It was like seven minutes. Uh, it is uh, Kazir Khan, he and his wife standing there, and they were talking about the loss of their son who died uh, serving in the U.S. military. And then, of course, he goes into, he says, Donald Trump consistently smears the he character of Muslims. Uh, he disrespects other minorities, women, judges, even his own party leadership. He vows to build walls and ban us from this country. And then he waves the Constitution, and it was very compelling. It was very good. And it's confusing. But this is the clarity that I want to bring to this. From my perspective, it is the responsibility of Mr. Khan to distinguish himself from Islamists, uh, from the Muslim Brotherhood, whose treatise is to destroy us from within. If he is a patriotic, loyal American Muslim, then we want to hear that. That's great. And we grieve with them over the death of their son. But do not disparage Americans or Donald Trump for having concerns about Muslims in our midst. And if you are so concerned, Mr. Khan, if you're an American first, then distinguish yourself and condemn Islamists. Condemn the Muslim Brotherhood. Then we will listen to you. And stop waving the Constitution. As far as I can tell, Islam, uh, truly supporters of Islam and the Quran, cannot embrace the Constitution. Now, if you have a different view, then explain that to us, and then maybe we can be persuaded. But don't shame America for having genuine and rightful concerns about Muslims in our midst when we have no idea who they are or what they really believe. And we're not even sure about you, sir, because we know about taqiyya, which is the practice of lying to the infidel in order to advance the Muslim cause. So I'm sorry, will not be shamed. I'm sorry for the loss of their son, and I hope he is a loyal American. But I would think a loyal American Muslim would be more like um, uh, Zudi Jaffer, who is very clear about where he stands, who was very patriotic and loyal, and totally distances himself from Islamism. Uh, so if, uh, if, uh, you know, if that's the case for this gentleman, then he should have said that on the platform rather than shaming us uh, for having concerns about Muslim immigration. So that's my thought about that.